Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we will be looking at an aspect of technical drawing which is called auxiliary projection. Now we are told to project the elevation of this orthographic view here, whereby this is the plan and this is the elevation. Now we are told to project the elevation, so we are told to draw what the auxiliary plan. We are told to draw the live plan of this view here. Now, the first thing you start to do is to start drawing from what on the plan. It is easier to start from the head, right? So let's see how it goes. What I'll do first of all, I'm going to draw my horizontal line this way, right? And I'm going to draw my vertical line this way. Now this is where they are meeting. So the next thing I'll do is to draw this. So if I know from here to here which is 60, so I'll take half of it, it is what, 30, where I can draw that. So measure 30 from 0 to 3 is 30. And I'll place it here. And I'll draw my circle this way. You can see that? faint line. Now the next thing I'll do is to use an hexagon across flat because if it's across corner it will be having it will not be up to this length of this plant. So I'm going to use across flat to draw. How then by across flat? You place your set square on your T square this way moving it this way and you're going to move it towards this edge. Consider edge and you draw your faint line. Can you see that? And you do for the baseline too, this side too. Let me decide the same thing. Can you see that? So I've done for this and I've done for that too. I just move them to that point. Then the next thing is I will turn it to face. Look at it like this, then I will turn it this way come like this so I'll do for this side too and I'm going to do for this side too you see that now I'll stand it on the T square this way and I'll move it to this edge where it's touching the circumference of the circle that is tangential to it and I'll have this and I'll come to this point too to do the same thing and I'm going to have this then I'll be doing the rest with my hand like this you Uh, this is the hexagon, right? Now the next thing I'll do is to project this man up, right? I'm going to project him up. So first of all, I'll just draw my plane this way, just like I've been on this one. Then I'll project this up. Take it up. And I'll take this up too. But I'm giving the height of this shape to be what? 50. So I'm going to measure 50 on my meter rule. From 0 to 5 is 50. Right? And I'll place it here and measure my 50. From this base here. Measure 50. So, what I'll do is, I'm going to complete the shape. So from here, I'll take in here, and from here, 
I'm going to take in here. And I'm going to do the same here also. I'll do the same here also. And I'll cover here too because here is covered. So I'll cover here too. Now I have successfully brought out the ship. I'm told that there is an XY plane at an angle of what 60 degree at which I will use to project my elevation. So I will stand when I stand my set square this way, it's 60 degree. So I'm going to draw my arc this way, like from here. Just a faint line, so this is I can just still extend can you see? Okay. So I can see take down a little bit. To come down. So the angle between here and here is 60 degrees. I mean the angle between this point, this point here like this, is 60 degrees. So what I will do is, since I have projected like this with 60 degree, whatever line I'm bringing, I will use 30 to bring so that they will form 90, right? So what I will do is, placing my, I have different points. This is, from this point, let me call it to be point 0.1, I'll call it to be point 0.2, call it to be 3, here to be 4, here to be 5, and here to be what, 6. I will go to so what I'm actually going to do here is this. I'll start projecting. I'll project point one this way. Right, that is point one. So what I'll do, because point one and point two are in the same points, I'll go to point two two and I'll project also. Right, let me end it at this point here. Let me end it here. So the next thing I'll do, I'll go to point 3, I'll extend it to, from here, I'll come, I'm going to go to point 4 to, to draw, point 6 also, to draw, then point 5, Also, the draw. Now, if you will observe very well, you will take from one to this point here. Let me call that point. Let's say here should be one, here to be two. If there is 3, this point will be what? 3. Here will be what? 4. Here will be what? Also 5. And this down will be what? 6. Now, I will take 1 to 1. Hmm? This is just to point 1. This is 1. So 1 should be on this platform here. Right? Or you place it here, you mark 1. So you call this point point 1. This is done for 1. Now you go to 2 also. On this same point, you go to 2, mark it here, and you mark another one. You call it point 1 because they are on the same points. So one and one. So then just call this point to be my point two. Because that's my line two. And I'll from one also I'll go to two. I'll place on the on I'll trace it to line two. This is two here. Or I'll place from point one here. I'll go to two. I'll place it to line two. I'll mark. 
This is two. Also, I could get two, and I'll do the same thing for one, two. And one, I'll mark also on that same line of one. So having point one. Since both of them are on the same line, I will come here. I'll mark on three. This is three. I'll go to line three, which is this line three here. Place it here. I'm going to mark three. Right? And I'll go also to this line four also. I'm going to mark four. So I'll call this point three. I'll call this point four. Then from that same three also, I'll move it down to four. I'll come to that same three. I'll mark because I've changed the point now. So this will still be my point three. And I'll go to four also. I'm going to mark four. That will be my also point four. Right. I'll come to the next one. I'll mark from five to five here. I'll go to line five, which is this. I'll place it on that line. I'll mark on five. That'll be my point five. I'll take it to the next point also because on the same line. I'll mark T here, my point five two. So I have five here also. I'll change move to the next one which is six. I'll come on five also. I'm going to mark. That'll be still five. Then I'll go up on six. This will be what? Still six on the line of six. Right? And this will be still six. So what I'll do is I'll join those points together. So we'll join five five. Then from here to here, I'll have this. I'll join from here to here, I'll have this. I'll join from here to here, I'll have this. So let's go to start with your faint line first. So let me do here to be my faint line. And let me do here also to be my faint line. I'll come here too. I'll join five and four here. Faint line. Or am I just taking it since I know? I'm five to four. From one and two to four. Two to two here. Here also. Here yeah, also, and here also, because this is the surface here, the top. I'm going to join here to here, because if you look at it, three to four is connected. So I'm going to connect three to four here. Right, five five is connected. This is my five here. Five to five and six here to six and here also three to four right then I can see the inside value here so I'm going to use my hidden line to show hidden switches. What I'll do here. I'm going to join this together. So hidden switches. Do 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 do. Then this one too. Here, 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 here. Then, 
Oh, can I see that? And uh, these two, and this one to two is connected. One to two is connected. So this is my one, and this is my two up here. So I should be able to just use my hidden line to connect it if I want to. Two to one here is connected. I'll just now this is what I'm having. So I've developed. I've um, shown you the light projection in this view here. So, uh, thank you for watching. We'll meet in our next video.